Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike. Today we're going to discuss maybe kind of a minor fault in the pull-up, but a, a place that I think people should be spending more time or more effort really uh, dialing in. That is the uh, bottom position here. If I'm not letting my arms straighten out, I'm missing out on some of the therapeutic effects of a pull-up. So one of the best things about the pull-up is if I can keep my ab tone and my core position and I can let my arms stretch out like that, it's encouraging good shoulder motion for me. So, uh, you know, most people have trouble getting their arm to come all the way up like this. Not everyone does, and I hope you don't. Um, but what we find is that hanging sometimes, especially if I'm cueing the abdominals, gives me the position that then allows this motion even when I'm not hanging afterwards. Okay, so I like to use that extra little stretch at the uh, bottom of the pull up to help me get not only a little rebound to pull back up, but to encourage good shoulder motion over the long term, right? It's going to help you with your push-ups, your pull-ups, your shoulder health, all that stuff. Okay, especially as you start to get stronger and bigger and stiffer, you got to you got to make sure that you're stretching yourself into full ranges of motion if you're going to be able to maintain those things throughout the foreseeable future. Okay? Um, so all it looks like is you just got to be able to let yourself go a little bit right there at the bottom. Um, just let your arms stretch out, feel that little stretch, and then pull up back into the stretch. Now, when am I not really pushing this? Uh, the biggest scenario is like somebody is trying to do pull-ups for the first time or forcing a couple extra reps and they lose their position when they do get that stretch. They can't find those muscles right away and they get stuck with their shoulders elevated and they don't have this nice strong pulling position. In that case, I'm usually gonna let you not stretch out at the bottom so that you can get more reps and get more fatigue into your muscles and therefore more hypertrophy, right? Um, and that's pretty much it, okay? So I would encourage you to at least give it a shot. Um, try to get that nice stretch. Maybe you could even do that just on your last rep, lower under control, get a nice stretch and hold right there. But you gotta make sure that your, the, the um, tension on your arms isn't making your chest pull up like this, right? I don't wanna lean back like this. I wanna use my abs to pull the front of my rib cage down and really stretch out my arms. So when you do that, if you can really get that position, you're going to feel, uh, for me, I feel a pretty nasty pec stretch, but some people will just feel it in their lats running down their back, kind of in their armpit area. I think you'll find it's very therapeutic. 